so get your pencil your ruler and your pattern paper ready and if you don't have them pause this video and get them ready let's mark this together so the first point i'll be taking is the shoulder point and the measurement you need for this basic body is being displayed on the screen divide your shoulder by two and then you mark this on the first point of the pattern paper this is the shoulder point now i'll go down by one inch for the shoulder slope or connect the slope to the neckline now the next thing for me to do is mark my round armhole divided by two so you divide your round armhole by two and you mark this from the slope you go down from the slope and you mark this down now i'm just going to make sure that the width on the armhole line is the same as the width on the shoulder my shoulder is 7.5 i'll make sure that what is sitting here is 7.5 inches i'll go ahead and connect this to the slope with a straight line now i'll rule another line here this is the armhole line also known as the chest line so i'm just going to rule it all the way in into the pattern because i want to indicate that this is the chest line now the next point for me to take is the boss point So the next point I'll be taking is my waist point. I ran out of blue marker so I continued with the gray marker. So I'm just going to indicate that this is the boss point and this is the waist point. Now from my waist point I'll go ahead and mark 9 inches down and this point is for my hip point. So I have a video on the um I have a video on the screen showing you how to take your hip point from your waist point. You place the tape on your waist and you go down to the biggest part of your body which is your hip. And the hip point is also going to act as the length of my top or my pattern. Now I'll place my tape on the armhole to find out the middle point. I have 8 inches. I'll divide that by 2. And I got 4 inches. That is the middle point on my armhole. So to create the front armhole, I'm just going to go in by half an inch. So from the middle point, I'm going in by half an inch. This is to help me create the curve for the front armhole. Now I'll divide my round bust by 4. And then I'll mark this down on the chest line, which is the armhole line. I'm going to mark my round bust there. I'll go ahead and connect that point to the half an inch on the middle point. So if you don't have a curve ruler, you can use the dot method. You just make dots until you get to the half an inch or you go ahead with your free hand. Now I'm just going to go ahead and connect the half an inch to the slope. 
Remember, you can use your free hand to do this. So to rule my back armhole, I'm just going to connect the middle point, not the half an inch. The middle point, I'm just going to connect that to the armhole line like this. So this is the back armhole, this is the front and this is the back. So the next thing I'll be marking is my apex, which is the nipples to nipple. You find out what your nipple to nipple is, you divide that by two. And then you mark this on the bust point, and you mark this on the waist point, and also on the hip point. I just go ahead and connect this with a straight line. That's the point on the bust and on the waist and on the hip. So on the bust point, I'll go down by one inch. I'm just going to mark one inch down. And on the waist point, I'm just going to mark half an inch on each side. This is for the darts. So in total, I am taking out one inch darts, but I am marking half an inch on each side of the apex. Now I'm just going to go ahead and connect that to the one inch on the bust. Moving on to the hip, I'll go up by two inches. That's from the hip point, I'll place the tip and go up by two inches on the apex line. Now I'll just go ahead and connect the dart on the waist to that point very easy this is the waist that now i'll go ahead and divide my round bust by four and mark this on the bust point we are done with the dots on the waist we are marking the horizontal measurements or connect the point to my armhole line now the next thing is to divide my round waist by four and i'm going to be replacing the darts i took on the waist because i took one inch darts i'm just gonna go ahead and replace one inch here on the waist or connect this to the bust Now to the hip, I'll go ahead and divide my round hip by four. And then I'll connect this to the waist point. Remember these measurements are in inches. So to get my side darts, because this basic body is, um, is just going to include the standard darts, that's the darts on the bust and on the waist. So I'll find the middle points from the waist to the armhole line. I placed the tip on the waist to the armhole line. I divided this by two and I got the middle points. So go ahead and mark the middle points between the waist and the armhole line. And from that point, I'll connect this to the bust point. Just like this. On the boss point, I'm just going to come down by one inch. And now on the middle points on the side, I'll mark half an inch on both sides. Like I'll mark half an inch here and half an inch on the other side. Half an inch here, half an inch here. And then I'll connect this to the one inch on the boss points. So we are done with the standard darts. That's the dart on the bust and the dart on the waist. Now 
now i'll go ahead and mark the neck width for this pattern the neck width is three inches both for the back piece and for the front piece the neck width is three inches and because i have my back pattern with the front pattern pinned together i'm going to mark the back neckline so the neck depth for the front is three inches So you can decide to make yours 3.5 or 4. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect the neck depth on the front to the neck width. You don't necessarily need a ruler to do this, a curve ruler. You can go ahead and use the dotted method or your freehand. Now for the back pattern, I'm going to be using 1.5 inch as the neck depth. So I'm just going to mark it here. 1.5 and this is the neck depth for the back so i'm just going to connect it to the neck width the front piece and the back piece share the same neck width the same neck wideness which is three inches now i'm going to cut out the neck depth for the back And then I'll go ahead and cut out the part I don't need on this pattern. And when cutting, I'm going to cut out the back armhole because I have the back pattern pinned with the front. So you see that I have two patterns here. So that is why I cut out the back armhole, leaving the front. So I have 1.5 inches allowance already on the back pattern because this is for the zip. But I'll go ahead and indicate the point, that's the boss point, the waist point, the hip point on the back pattern. And then I'll also rule out um, the part where the zip is sitting. I'm just going to make a straight line to indicate that this is where the zip is going to be sitting. And now because I have my points um, indicated already on the pattern, on, that's on the back pattern, I have the points indicated. So I'm going to rule. This is the chest line. That's the armhole line. And the next is the boss point. And then the next is the waist point. And then the hip point. So I'm just going to label this out so you know that this is the chest line, the boss point. This is the waist point and this is the hip point. So I'm going to go ahead and um, mark my apex, that's the nipple to nipple. You remember we marked nipple to nipple on the front pattern, which is 4 inches, that is my nipple to nipple. So I'm just going to mark this down on um, this back pattern. I also marked it on the chest line because of the darts we are going to be taking for the back pattern is going to be starting from the chest line. So now on the chest line, I'll go down by half an inch. I'm just going to go down by half an inch on the chest line. And on the waist, I'm going to mark the half an inch, the same half an inch I marked on the front pattern. I'm going to mark this on the waist. On each side of the apex, I'm just going to mark half an inch. That's on the waist point. And then I'll connect this to the half an inch sitting between the chest line and the bust point. I'll go up by 2 inches on the hip. We did that on the front pattern also. We went up by 2 inches. So I'm just going to do the same thing. And then I'll connect this to the dart. To the waist dart. For the zip allowance, the allowance I left already is 1.5 inch. So I'm just going to mark 1 inch on the waist. I'm just going to go in by one inch on the waist and then I'll connect this to the neckline and then I'll connect it to the hip and that is the adjustment on the zip allowance. Diamond. 
so i'll just go ahead and cut this out that's the part i don't need so this are the pattern the front pattern and this is the back pattern remember to cut out the front armhole now because of the side that because when i sew this that in it's going to it's not going to be the same length like the length is going to be shortened so i'll go ahead and bring in a fresh pattern paper now i'll just use my paper tape to hold this down that's the new pattern paper i brought and um the front pattern and i'll go ahead and fold this in so i'm just taking the allowance the half an inch on one side and i placed it on the next the other half an inch now i'm just going to use my marker to rule a straight line And then I'll fold this out. So now what I will do is I'll just go ahead and connect those lines together. So I'm just trying to replace the dart back so that when I sew this in, I will be running short of fabric. So I'm just going to cut out the part I don't need. So this is how you draft out a fitted basic bodice with the standard that they have other that but this is the standard that